These are 10 of the most mind-blowing DIY creations you'll ever see, like turning a Fanta can into a minigun and so many more incredible things. You're going to want to watch to the end to see them all. I love these creative people. We've got a battery, some sellotape, and a light. The way that it goes from just things that don't make sense together to look, look, even this is cool already. As soon as it touches the battery, it's lighting up. Oh, put it on a key. It's going to seal it together using a little lighter. And then look at that. Already such a useful creation. Not even that hard to do. At number two, we're getting ourselves some wood and a glue gun. I feel like I'm back in school again. I actually did DT design creations a bit like this. So it's so cool to see what these people come up with. More glue gun. Stick the top of a plastic bottle on it. Bend some metal around. Okay. Knowing how useful the first one would be, I'm excited to see what all of these will do. They have real world usage. And actually, you could even do them yourself, obviously, with parental guidance. I don't know where he got this bit of metal from. It seems very specific. A motor slots it onto the motor, tightens it so it won't get loose. Tightens in another bit of copper wiring into it. Where is this going? I'm excited to see. Oh, it's like a giant spinning wheel, potentially. Is he creating his own solar panel? Oh, wait. <gasps> what the? Surely that'll break as soon as it turns on. Well, I trust this person that it won't break, but it feels like it will break. Soldering on some more cabling. Soldering on some more cabling on the bottom. Maybe this is going to give it some power. I feel like this person's creating their own wind turbine. Okay. Oh, switches. Yo, he's actually going to control it all as he wants. Not one, but two switches in total. Soldering together. The cables need a USB. Wait. What is being made? Dude, is this going to connect to his PC? This would be so cool. I love the way he, like, tightens it all and connects it together by heating it up. Okay, we got two switches. Many... <gasps> yo, 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 yo. Did I not say wind turbine? I'm telling you, if this is a wind turbine, you got to hit the thumbs up button. There we go. Smash the thumbs up button. It even spins. Oh, it's so clever. It goes back and forth. Oh, my gosh. Here I was thinking it would break it. And it's your own personal mini wind turbine to keep you cool. You can turn it on and off whenever you want. Number three. Got yourself a battery. Dude, I'm loving the carbon fiber on that. You see? No, that's the coolest battery I've ever seen in my life. A button. More glue gun as well. Oh, it's a very small button. But don't think just because it's small, it's going to be underwhelming. Oh, no, 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 no. Clicking on an attachment for power into the battery. This looks like a really compact creation tool. It's incredible how you can put together physics science and cool little bits of technology and create something really really exciting and cool just with a little bit of know-how big shout out to inventor 101 for these incredible skills taking out the inside of a pencil i guess he doesn't want the red on the inside he just wants a tube going through it oh <gasps> wait why do i think this could be the most incredible thing ever I love the way that he's actually gone ahead and screwed the inside of a pencil. <gasps> it kind of looks like, I don't know, like a magnetic, crazy, like it's like something you'd see some evil genius have. It's like the greatest way ever of storing all of your loose string. Who would have known? And number four, don't forget about the crazy phantom minigun. So many cool experiments coming up. Let's take a look. Solding a little hole here. <gasps> Dude, is this going to be a underwater submarine. I'm just saying I've seen somebody do something cool with an underwater submarine here on the channel. You guys have watched it as well. If you haven't, it's because you're not subscribed. Come and join for free videos. Click subscribe right now. We're aiming for 8 million subscribers. Who's going to send the cables on the outside? I just want to know why it's got a case. My first thought was that the case would be used as a waterproofant. So let's see if that's going to be accurate or not. <gasps> Is that a light? Ooh, soldering in some more cables. I love it. I love it. I love it. Is this going to be a glow up water submarine? I'm not quite as confident of this one as I was with the... <gasps> Dude, that's so cool. 
I definitely wouldn't put that underwater, by the way. But it's your own, like, personal little light. And at number five, oh, I got loads of those lying around. A cheap little, like, iPhone stand tripod. If you're a vlogger or you record yourself or take pictures of yourself, you probably got one lying around as well. They're pretty inexpensive. Put on a fan. Ooh, okay. Sw I love it when there's a switch. When I feel like I'm in control of what's happening and I can turn it on and off whenever I want. I feel so powerful. <laughs> okay, gonna connect up some more cables. Cut out very precise. Oh, those may be the switch holes, by the way. Potentially where the switch is gonna go. Ooh, a power leap. Yes, 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 yes. My brain managed to work it out. I'm sure you guys did as well. Everyone watching this video is very smart and clever. Don't forget that. Don't let anyone tell you anything different. We're gonna put on the back here, cutting it out very carefully. Out it goes, more super glue. Woo, filter material. Is he gonna cut that out as well? Oh, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, um, a ventilation system, but it's like thinned out with the fabric. This is so cool. Oh, dude, is he gonna be a fan at home? Yo, that's so cool. And you can face it any direction you want as well. It's actually really good for cooling down like your consoles or your PC, or if you're just warm on a hot day, have it blasting in your face as well. At number six, what cool creation is next? Okay, gonna be measuring out very specifically here, some different sizes. Three pieces, all the exact same. Ooh, a little bit of a triangular cutout. Okay, that's very specific. More glue guns. You know what? If you really want to impress your teachers, don't tell them, but you could take some of the ideas in this video and give them a go yourself in DT lessons and they would be very impressed. That's for sure. Okay, connecting them all together, it's like an arrow. It's like pointing them in a certain direction potentially here, cutting it off as well at an angle, making it nice and pointy. Ooh, but the weird thing is the middle bit of wood slightly off center. It's not dead in the middle. I feel like that's been done on purpose here. Oh, so it, it, it's acting as like a measuring device. I get it. And you've gone ahead and created a tool that can literally find you the center and draw lines on anything. Circular, square, you name it. It's a very smart bit of gear. And number seven. I'm so excited for this one. You may have seen this in the thumbnail, but you can literally make a mini cannon with the right materials. Let's see how it's done. Oh, this is very particular tiny bit of wiring connected to another exposed bit of wiring leading to another bit of wiring connected that is a very fragile very particular small bit of cabling <gasps> gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of covering and yet again tighten and seal it all up with a lighter be careful people fire is no joke do not mess around with these things slots perfectly inside this little tube i don't know how you found a tube that perfect but it was literally made for this experiment Cutting off a little bit of copper cabling as well. Putting it through a tiny, tiny hole and snipping it off. Oh, dude. Oh, I thought maybe it's going to act like a little pivot system. So the firing gun thing could rotate up and down. Some batteries. An on and off switch. You know we love these switches. They are so cool. Put the switch glued onto the top of the battery and connect it up with a few little bits of metal. That's going to allow it to go... Oh, Yo, it's, it's creating an electric current through that very thin bit of wire, which will heat it up. That's so cool. A little bit more glue around a circular piece. Of, oh, it's the cannon. It's the wheels of a cannon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the wheels have been glued into position. The cannon is ready to go. How cool is this? And now we need a match. Be careful, obviously, doing any of these at home. These people are trained professionals. They know what they're doing. We're going to go ahead and take the top part of the matches, which I guess is kind of like the explosive bit. And we're going to be grinding them down a tiny, tiny amount, filling it into the cannon. Dude, this is crazy. All of this created with tools from scratch. Oh, a little bit of paper. Okay, that's going to go in there as well. Is that going to be what's... You oh, it's going to go right in the back and almost act as a buffer, potentially. A little bit of metal. Okay, so the bullet or the cannon that's going to be fired will be a little bit of metal. This is so cool. I can't wait to see how this goes. 
If you're impressed by this, you've got to hit the like button. Holy! That was so impressive. At number eight. And don't forget about the Phantom Minigun. We got an air pump. Connecting up more cables yet again. Ooh, getting ourselves a few holes. It's crazy how you can make holes in plastic just with the right amount of heat. Bottle, yet again, more holes perfectly formed, allowing us to connect. So it's like a light and a button. Ooh, on it goes. It fits perfectly. It's so satisfying. Ooh, syringe. Okay. Blocking off the end of the syringe. <gasps> Loads of tiny holes. What the... I mean, if you like, had water come out, it'd squirt in all directions. Gonna more super glue. Oh, okay. Loads of holes coming out of there as well. What is gonna be made, guys? I'm so interested. I love it when they use USBs. I love it when they use USBs. Connects up to the PC. Loads of PC power. <gasps> what the? Is this a. What? Is it. Is water gonna go everywhere? What? Dude, that's sick. And at number nine, the Fanta can that we've all been waiting for. We got 10 experiments in total. They've all been incredible, but I cannot wait to see what the Fanta minigun looks like. Oh, just sanding it away. It's taken off the bottom of the can very nice and easily, actually. Very particular cut out bit of plastic attached to the bottom of the Fanta can with what looks to be a motorized center on the back as well okay oh he's getting a seven up Ooh, seven up and fanta two drinks coming together for the greater good of this diy creation oh that's very very specifically cut out look at that you know what he may have used the other invention that we showed to get those perfect lines down the middle it just shows some of the creative tools he uses, not only to then build more DIY creations as well. We've got an awesome fan. Oh, he's going to connect the fan to a motor. More super glue connected to a chunk of wood. It's going to go inside the fan again. Maybe the air is going to be used with the propulsion system to then go ahead and make the minigun spin. Whew. This is going to be so cool. Delicately, delicately making a hole. Don't forget, these soda cans could easily be broken or damaged. You don't want to build half of it and go ahead and break. Oh my gosh, that's a handle. That's the handle, guys. In goes another button. A red button this time. Red buttons are always meant to be pushed. Let's not lie. Connecting up one side of the wire to the other side of the wire. The positives and the negatives. We just need some power, people. And without power, this thing's not going to spin like a minigun. On goes some glue. On goes the battery. And it goes slots just inside. Oh, it, oh, so that's why he left a little bit of a hole at the top of that. I was wondering why there was a hole on top of that. So it, Wait, 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 wait. I thought this was just going to be a minigun that looked like it's spinning like a minigun. But if you've got the air going through... You could put things and load them up into the tubes and then the air would propel whatever's inside the tube out. I mean, not at a crazy, crazy force, but enough for it to probably get some distance. Will we get an example of this going on? <gasps> Dude, look at that. A Fanta... Oh! It's a Fanta bubble-making minigun. Even I didn't know that that was about to happen. The final incredible DIY creation at number 10. What are we going to wrap it up with? This has been so incredible to watch. Another syringe, a battery pack, some more glue. What can be cooler than a minigun bubble-making machine? Well, let's find out. It's already looking crazy impressive. I'll be honest, I don't know what that is, but I guess we're about to find out together. More glue. Let's put it on. Is it a power source? Oh, it's going to connect it together again. What are we looking at? That is crazy. I've never seen all of those. Oh. I've never seen all of these things connected together in my life. Getting the plastic from the end is going to act as like... Oh. What? Oh, it's noise. Dude, it was a sound device attached there. 
Whoa, you know when someone's opening the door. That was incredible. More videos on screen here. Quickly click before I go. Huge thank you to Inventor101 for the incredible creations. I'll see you on another video.